Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, Rockstar have given us some more information on what's going to be coming out in just a few short days on November 5th when the PC version arrives, including giving us a brand new trailer and a whole lot more. We'll also be looking at some information from Insider Tez Funds 2 on a lot of things you guys have been interested in, like the Rockstar editor and transferring characters over to Red Dead Online. So on their Newswire page today, Rockstar said, watch the official Red Dead Redemption 2 PC launch trailer that showcases the all new graphical and technical enhancements on display in the PC version. As Arthur Morgan and the Vanderlyn gang desperately try to outrun the law after being hounded off the mainland, Arthur and the gang find themselves caught in the local conflict on the shores of a remote Caribbean island. Disoriented and yearning to find a path back to their hidden fortune and the dreams of a better future promised by their charming and increasingly erratic leader, Dutch Vanderlyn. And they also say that time is running out to pre-purchase Red Dead Redemption 2 for PC direct from Rockstar Games. And you can receive exclusive bonuses including a free Rockstar Games title, extras for story mode like the War Horse, Outlaw Survival Kit, Le Tresor de Mort's Treasure Map, 50 gold bars for Red Dead Online, and discounts on Ultimate and Special Edition upgrades. And pre-purchasers can now preload the game in preparation for launch on November 5th. Now, I almost completely forgot to mention, since we are dealing with a brand new PC trailer here, this video is in 4K and 60 FPS. So if you're watching this on your computer, click that little you know settings button that allows you to change your resolution. And uh, if you want to watch this in its optimal quality, I would highly recommend the 4K option. So let's go ahead and sort of do a quick breakdown of the trailer itself. I'll leave a link to the trailer in the description if you want to take a look at it for yourself in its entirety. Uh, we are going to be doing a little bit of a breakdown here. Now I will say before we start, if you have not played Red Dead Redemption 2, like you only are getting the game for PC, or maybe this is just the first video you've stumbled upon, you know nothing about the game. For whatever reason, Rockstar decided they wanted to put a lot of spoilers in this trailer. Maybe they're assuming that people have already played the game. That's a bad assumption though. So just be forewarned, there are a lot of spoilers here. It begins with the ship that Arthur and the Vanderlyn gang are taking to Guarma. I guess taking to Guarma would be the wrong term. It's the ship that they like hide out on after trying to escape Saint Denis. And immediately it shows them going overboard and Arthur jumping into the water. Uh, I've said many times in the past, one of the things that I think looks the best about RDR2 on PC is the fact that the water looks insane. It again transitions to Guarma, where you can see the Rockstar Games presents, and even the water in the background when like Arthur is talking to Dutch and Javier here near the campsite. Like that's one of the big things that I've noticed, that's for sure. So I told you guys, like the first 10 or 15 seconds already reveals like Guarma. And so you know that like some sort of disaster happens. I told you there's like way too many spoilers in this, but it is cool because Guarma is one of the you know most beautiful parts of the game, the, the tropical looking island. So I can understand why Rockstar maybe wanted to show this off. It then transitions to the gang all riding their horses. I'm not really too sure what mission that's from or if this next scene is from the same mission, but uh, it looks like Arthur... We got Lenny and Bill doing a little bit of train robbing right here. It transitions to the scene in San Denis, probably the most critical mission of the game outside of the ending, and you get to see the dynamite exploding, which is super cool. It cuts back to Arthur being chased by some O'Driscolls through the woods, and then a whole bunch of Pinkertons, or I should say like San Denis policemen. I imagine like every single character, no matter how minor they are, is going to look awesome on PC. And then this scene right here, I, I kind of want to pause this for a second because, like, d does this actually take place in the game? Like, when does this happen when Agent Milton is in San Denis at night firing his revolver? Like, when does this occur? Like, I feel like Rockstar snuck this in here. I'm pretty confident that, like, Rockstar had to manipulate something here because I do not remember where that occurs. You guys can let me know if I'm just totally mistaken in the comments down below. And then transitions to a party scene at night, 
at the big house in the swamp. I think this is when Jack returns, uh, and then transitions to Arthur firing off a shotgun. Arthur's going to look awesome. I've said this in the past, but John and Arthur, since they're the, the two main protagonists here, are probably going to look the best as far as the graphics go. Again, transitions to more scenes of the gang on their horses. Another huge spoiler here is Arthur literally is on the ground, almost getting stabbed in one of the final missions of the game. More Pinkertons invading the camp. Back to Guarma. Again, lots of scenes in Guarma. In fact, the final, like, entire bits of the trailer all are in Guarma. So I don't know why, again, Rockstar was so inclined to feel like they had to show off so much of Guarma. Maybe it's because, again, they think it looks really great, shows off their PC engine. But uh, yeah, that is the trailer right there. Then sort of transitions to this end scene where you basically just see that the game is coming out on November 5th and it was made by Rockstar, etc. So although that was really cool, it didn't really show off anything new as far as like the story mode DLC content that we're going to be getting uh, for the PC version, which is something that I'm really looking forward to. In case you guys are wondering, it's a lot of things like new bounties and gang hideouts and treasure maps and weapons. Uh, I'm guessing that might have been hard to show off in a trailer. A lot of those were like story mode cutscenes, but either way, we didn't really see anything about that. I know a lot of people are also disappointed that so far we have not seen any details about number one, the Rockstar editor, and number two, director mode. Well, it looks like Insider Tez Funds 2 has some ideas on what might be going on with that. So on the GTA forum site, he posted this. He said 100% Rockstar Editor is coming, but it seems like they aren't going to release it with this edition. Makes sense because I was told it's coming in December, so no wonder they aren't talking about the editor. And as sort of a follow-up to that, he said they didn't focus on one project during development. They were working on both the PC version and the editor. This seems to suggest that the editor needs more time while the PC version is completely done. So I guess the reason they are releasing Steam in December isn't because of an exclusivity deal or something like that. I think it's just a cover up for making use of the one month to finish the editor. And someone said, should we expect a higher quality editor? And he said, from what I know, they call it the enhanced Rockstar editor. Don't know what the heck that means. And as far as if it will have director mode, he said director mode is a part of the Rockstar editor. We are yet to hear anything about the editor. The editor may be planned to release later on, like a month after the release of the PC version. So I'm inclined to believe that as well, because if the enhanced Rockstar editor were going to be a part of the PC version, you feel like this is something that Rockstar would want to advertise as a way to market for the game, a cool feature that the consoles don't have. But I guess it's just not ready. And Tez Funds 2 believes when it does arrive, he says it likely will happen probably a month later that it will also include the director mode. So it's going to be an enhanced version of what we've seen or what we've seen in the past with Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, another thing that I've seen a lot of players concerned with is being able to transfer our progress in Red Dead Online. This is something we saw twice in Grand Theft Auto going from the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and then PS4 and Xbox One to PC. Rockstar allowed us to transfer our characters once on each system. But so far, we haven't heard anything about that. Now, there is a chance that over the next couple of days, Rockstar continue to introduce some of the new features that will arrive. I mean, the game's not out yet. We still have plenty of time. So it wouldn't be shocking if that's something they announce maybe a day or two or even sometime tomorrow before the release. Because I would be really shocked if Rockstar didn't allow players who had already begun progress in Red Dead Online on PS4 and Xbox One to have to completely start over. Like, do you know how discouraging that would be? It would cause more people to probably not play than to want to play on the PC. So I don't know, maybe that's Rockstar's plan so that everyone is on like a level playing field. I just think there would be a lot of backlash if that's something they did. So as always, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on In The Loop if Rockstar do announce anything else regarding the PC version of the game, the story mode content that's going to be coming, the Rockstar editor and director mode, and more. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What did you think of this brand new trailer? What do you think about what Rockstar has revealed so far? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. 
I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did gonna enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You wanna stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.